first of all, this is my 30th season here at Ember Riddle and I think um, every year each team has its own unique personality and the 2023 team will be no different. Um, it's about inspiring people to come on a vision and uh, give them the tools to uh, participate in that journey together. Um, right now we're just talking, uh, feeling out the team, see where they stand in, in, in terms of the values about belief, um, competition, that kind of stuff. And uh, it'll take on its own personality over the next couple of weeks during pre-season. Um, but I'm excited about the squad. Um, I think we've really done a lot, a lot of good work in the off-season to strengthen and deepen the squad. Last year was a disaster. Uh, we ended up finished bottom of the league for the first time ever in my career which uh, I wasn't thrilled about, but uh, that's where we ended up. And so I think the pre-season poll this year reflects where we finished last year. And hopefully um, we've got the tools in place now to do a, look, a much better job in this league than we did last season. We have 12 new players uh, from the roster from last year. Uh, two who came in the spring and 10 new faces this fall. So we've, uh, we've increased our talent level, that's for sure. Uh, six transfers and, and four freshmen coming in. So it is a bit of a, a new squad, it's almost 50% new team so we're just kind of getting used to each other in pre-season learning each other's playing habits playing styles so we can put together kind of a where they best fit with the with the team um, but talent alone in this league isn't enough you know it's about perseverance resilience grit those are more factors that will contribute to your success and so far so good with the team i'm happy with the squad we've, we've been working really hard in pre-season and uh, things are looking good so far well, the goalkeeping situation last year was an unmitigated disaster. Um, part of that was my fault in, uh, in not being strong enough in that position. But, um, you know, having your backup goalkeeper play as the only option all season in this league is, is not easy. And um, we did well to get through. I mean, every every game we're looking at which, which bench player would go in goal if the backup got injured. Um, we ended up conceding, I think, 37 goals from 15 games last year. Not all the goalkeeper's fault, but it... You know, it's hard work when the, when your defenders don't have full confidence in your goalkeeper. So we've made a massive upgrade in the goalkeeping department. The, the two guys we have come in, both have college experience, both fighting to be number one, pushing each other in training. So I feel good about where we have got are with the goalkeeping situation in terms of depth and confidence with the rest of the team. Not necessarily, I think it'll be more of a team effort. We've got, like I said, from top to bottom, a really strong squad. Uh, probably the strongest squad we've ever had, top to bottom. Um, we've got 9 of 11 players coming back from last season who played the most minutes. So I think the guys who were here last year um, and tasted that experience of finishing bottom of the league are, are pretty hungry to not do that again. And they've really uh, reached out to the new players and kind of brought them into the, the culture right away. Um, so it's kind of been a seamless transition so far and it's been really enjoyable. And um, you know, the pre-season games are pre-season games. We kind of get everyone a chance to play see what they're all about, get some, some fitness into their legs. Um, we've got one more pre-season game uh, this week and then we'll start formulating a plan for the, for the first game on the road against Flagler.